We are clumps of matter that exist in time and space. We, along with everything else, unfurled out of the same universal starter kit. All of it, matter, energy, time, and space, banged into existence out of a single hot and dense point 13.7 billion years ago. Ever since, our universe has been governed by the same forces predictively playing out over time and space, as if strictly following a script. Our universe has been expanding and losing heat. Within it, matter has been clumping into more and more complex structures. Quarks clumped into subatomic particles and clumped into atoms. At first, there were just two kinds of atoms, helium and hydrogen. Once they clumped into massive stars, more became possible. Within the furnaces of big stars, the original two elements fused into heavier and heavier varieties like carbon, oxygen, and the rest of the periodic table. Now, there were more building blocks to play with. They clumped into molecules we are now made of. Hats off to cosmic evolution. It got us our universe and everything in it. The cosmic script is simple enough that we can venture a prediction about the fate of our cosmic home. There will be plenty of time. The last 14 billion years are just an instant relative to the infinity of time that lies ahead. There will be plenty of space. The universe will keep expanding at an accelerating rate. The outlook is less upbeat for matter and energy. See, entropy is set to wear it all down. Planets, stars, even black holes. All matter will revert to simpler and simpler structures dispersing over ever-expanding space. Our home will slowly grow dark and cold. There will be space and time, but nothing much going on. In cosmic terms, we are just tiny clumps of matter. Like all matter, we are subject to the forces of cosmic evolution. Is our fate then inextricably bound to the fate of our universe? Not necessarily. After all, we are no ordinary clumps of matter.